What's up everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got a split review to do for you, and I'm going to be talking to you about the new split from the band Black Witchery and Revenge, entitled Holocaustic Death March to Humanity's Doom. This is released on Nuclear War Now Productions. Yeah. When I first found out about this split being made, I was extremely excited because these are two bands that are very well versed and well respected within the black and death metal undergrounds. Of course, bands representative of the war metal-esque sort of sound. Downtune guitar riffs, constant blast beats, wretched vocals, just a great deal of insanity. And believe it or not, there's a bit of a history behind these, this, this sort of split. Uh, in 2000, Black Witchery did a split with, of course, the band that predated Revenge, Conqueror, uh, called Hellstorm of Evil Vengeance. That was an amazing split in its own right, definitely showcasing the kinds of great qualities that, that this band knew how to do, of course, Black Witchery coming up on the rise, and Conqueror, of course, moving forward into becoming Revenge. Um, just some really amazing stuff. And now, 15 years later, Black Witchery can return to do another split with another one of Jay Reed's bands, that band being Revenge. But let's get right on into the Black Witchery side of the split. Um, if you're not too familiar with them, they're based out of Winter Springs, Florida, and they play a very volcanic and disgusting style of black and death metal. Uh, very well evidented in this band's work in the early 90s when they went under the names of Irreverent and, of course, just straight up Witchery. Moving forward into the 2000s is when they added the black to the name Black Witchery, and that, that's what they go by now and they have definitely cemented a, a name for themselves with their musical style, their album covers, their artwork, their musical approach, their deliveries, and of course it's resulted in a multitude of great splits and full-length albums, um, Desecration of the Holy Kingdom, Upheaval of Satanic Might, and uh, Inferno of Sacred Destruction. Just some amazing stuff, not to mention the splits that they've done previously with bands such as Catharsis and Archgoat. Just some incredible musicianship being produced presented from this band. Now, five years later, we have some brand new Black Witchery to, to, to listen to. And there's been a bit of a small lineup change of sorts for this band. They've included a guy by the name of Alal Zaster, whom, if I'm not mistaken, is the same guy who's responsible for playing in three of, of, te of, of Texas's deadliest Black Death acts. Um, you know, Tablez, Naxul, Helvetron, just a very incredible musician, and it made me curious to find out how he was going to fit into the mold and mix of this band. And pretty much within the three tracks presented in this split, it's pretty much black witchery business as usual, but it's just done in such a chaotic and volcanic sort of manner. I mean, the mood gets started off right with Black Death Conjuration, but then... With the next two songs after that, Curse of Malignancy and Profanation Triumph, you get the true meat of what Black Witchery know how to do, and that is just deliver some devastating music. The riff work on here is incredibly filthy sounding. I love the way the riffs are being handled here. Very disgusting sounding, very well toned. It's a dirty sounding tone all the way throughout. It's almost muddy in a sense, but muddy not in a way that it feels like it's distracting to the listener. It definitely is very suitable for what Black Witchery have been known for doing. And with the three tracks that are on here, I definitely think the guitar work is sensational. The bass work is very audible and clear, very loud in the mix. Uh, definitely domineering. Not as domineering as the guitar, I would say, but still domineering in its own right. Um, yeah, going back to tracks like Curse of Malignancy and Profanation Triumph... It definitely showcases the multi verse the many verses of of, of mu musical stylings that Black Witchery know how to bring. It can be relentless blast beat after relentless blast beat, and then things start to slow down from there. But once things are slow again, it verges back onto being fast paced. And I definitely like what Black Witchery do with their their songwriting skills. Uh, once again, I mentioned the drums. It is a blast beat fest from. The, the minute you hear Black Death Conjuration all the way to the last track that they do. Of course, there's a bit of a repetitious sort of 
vibe when you listen to the drum work, but l l more, more and more you'll get accustomed to it and you'll appreciate what's being done here with the drumming. I think it's awesome. I love the way that it sounds and I definitely love the way that it's mixed. It definitely has an unvarnished unpolished sort of quality to it. It definitely feels like natural drumming being presented here from the way the fills are to the way the snare is to the way the cymbals crash. It's just a very awesome drum performance. And of course, Impurath, knowing his recognizable vocals right away, he definitely does deliver some incredible growling and howling going on with these tracks. Uh, very meaningful vocal performance, and he definitely commands your attention as you listen to every single track that's on here. He is a very formidable front man and definitely can do some great things with these with the, the three tracks that are on here. And it's making me very optimistic as to know what's going to be next from Black Witchery. I'm pretty sure they're going to be working on brand new material. Uh, another full length in the works maybe, so we'll see what happens from there. Now let's get on to the revenge side of the split. If you're not too familiar with Revenge, they're based out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and of course, as I mentioned previously, this is the current band involving Jay Reed, formerly of the great Conqueror. Absolutely incredible, influential Canadian black death metal, very powerful stuff, but of course, with, with Conqueror comes Revenge. And that's what Reven that's what Jay Reed has been up to lately. Uh, a multitude of great full-length albums, working with the great Pete Helmkamp of Angel Corpse, uh, resulting in three really awesome albums. And then, of course, in 2012, we had Scum Collapse Eradication. Just an amazing, freaky album. Not lots and lots of great snare hits and blast beats. Incredible vocals high-pitched growls. There's an almost grindcore-esque sort of quality to this to this band, even to the pitch-shifted vocals. Revenge are a total package kind of band when it comes to that music style. For this split, there is pretty much two songs wrapped up into one. The first track um, is pretty much their new song, so to speak, uh, Humanity Noosed. It pretty much starts off like your normal sort of revenge song. There's a lot of build-up leading up to some spastic drum soloing going on. And then once that's out of the way, you get the crazy, intense sort of, 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 of almost intimidating vibes you get when you listen to a song like that. Once you hear the vocals go off and the riffs go off, it is just so sensational. I love the way that that track sounds. I love the intensity of Jay Reed's drum work. It is so amazing to listen to. Uh, the vocals sound insane as well. Very high-pitched, wretched sort of vocals. Uh, very demented sounding. And of course you get those infamous pitch-shifted vocals. I definitely think they work very well here. Um, the riff work, the solo work, the, 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 the guitar tone all the way throughout, it's just nuts. And I love the way that it sounds from the guitar to the bass or whatever is being handled. It just sounds phenomenal. But then, once we get past the six minute mark of that track, we get a little bit of a treat from this band. This treat being in the form of a Bathory cover of the song Aquamanthorn. Of course, when I saw Revenge live last year, they pretty much set things off tremendously with, when they played this new track and the Bathory cover. The Bathory cover sounded great, but on record, it's even more crazier. It definitely gets the Revenge treatment. You're going to get the pitch-shifted vocals, the wailing, screaming wretch sort of vocals, the, the fast mentality, great riff work. Um, of course, the Equimanthorn chant is perfect to listen to for this song, and I definitely think it sounds phenomenal. Um, I believe they will be coming out with a new album later on in the year on Season of Mist, so I'm very excited to hear what Revenge has to offer, and pretty much it's going to be a deadly record, that's for damn sure. So, Overall, if you're a fan of Black Witchery or Revenge or War Metal, Black Death, layman terms, whatever you want to call it, I would say this is a split for the ages. This is definitely a Black Death metal fan's wet dream to listen to this. I definitely think all the music on here is well well versed, well executed. I love the production value, uh, the, the 
dirty, evil sort of underground mentality being presented here with the with the with these two bands. They definitely know exactly what they're doing here. So I'm gonna leave you some links in the description box as to how you can get a hold of this album and listen to it. I will link you to the Nuclear War Now Bandcamp page where you can stream this split in its entirety here for yourself and be your own judge as to whether you think it's worthy of being purchased or not. You can buy it digitally through there, and it is currently available on CD, and I believe there will be a vinyl version of this in the future. And of course, since it's nuclear war now, there will most likely be regular and diehard versions, so pick your poison on whichever version you want to get. So, again, the split is Holocaustic Death March to Humanity's Doom by Black Witchery and Revenge. This is released on Nuclear War Now Productions. Definitely support this. I'm going to conclude this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Until the next time, Army Hell out.